Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're looking at our little people house. This used to be mine when I was little. Let's push the red button. Maybe that's the doorbell. Is anybody home? Who's in the upstairs? Oh, baby Margaret is having a nap in the nursery. And Mum Tiger is watching her sleep. Look who stopped by and sniffing around. It's Poppy. Uh-oh. Some... Uh-oh. Don't roll, Poppy. We just gave you a bath. Hopefully it's nothing stinky. Let's let baby Margaret sleep. And we'll look for Daniel Tiger and his dad. They must be somewhere in the house. I think I see Daniel Tiger's face through this door. It has a heart shape in it. Hello, Daniel Tiger. Let's put Daniel Tiger down the slide. Here's the bottom of the slide. And the top is through the chimney. There's a little butterfly in the back that goes up and down. And another door, a garage door. It's blue like the front door. There's Dad Tiger. What does he have? It's a gift. Can we have a look inside? It's purple with a yellow bow. It's a fresh bucket of apples. Well, you better not keep that in the box too long or they'll start to go rotten. Baby Margaret is awake and we're going to have a look at the spinning window. I see an orange kitty and a white dog and if we spin it, there's a fish and it looks like it's his birthday with a piece of cake. And the last picture is a little baby having a bubble bath. That completes the tour of our little people Fisher Price house. Let's go see what Kitty's up to inside. She's sitting in the sun by the window. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Daniel Tiger and his family are going to take us on a tour of the big pink Barbie dream house. This is a very old toy. As you know, I love old toys and giving them life. And Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini have been playing and making little accessories. Inside the front door, they've made a table made out of cardboard and fabric. And there's a little tablet that says 305 Saturday. And if we head over to the kitchen, you can see cupboards full of jams and jellies. And there's a blue sink. Oh, why is there a brush on the stove? That's not safe. Underneath, they made little cups with straws. And we'll head into the living room against the window. There's, oh, there's Kitty out the window. Big stretch, Kitty. There's a little reading nook. And there's lots of pillows and some beautiful stained glass windows with flowers. Daniel Tiger and her sister love to read. Now, if we head into the main part of the living room, Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini have Barbie and Ken set up on the couch and there's a little baby in a pink outfit and her big sister is on the floor playing on the soft carpet. Now the kids also made a TV out of cardboard. It sits on the mantle with flowers, pictures and books. And they also cut out this carpet using a soft fabric. Oops, it's very soft. 
Okay, now for a special surprise. Let's put Daniel Tiger and his family over in the corner. What do you think it is, tiny fans? This is very neat. It's an elevator. And I just push the white switch up. And up, up, up they go. Past the windows. And up to the second floor. We'll follow them with the camera. How neat is that? And here we are in the bedroom. And if we look up above the elevator, there's a picture of the actual dollhouse they're in. Now if we head over this way, there's a white cabinet with clothes inside. Tiny Treasures is learning to sew on a sewing machine. And Tiny Treasures has sewn two little skirts for the dolls. And they're pink, just like the bed. B for Barbie. What's this? Try and open. Oops! Slipped out of my fingers. Oh, it's a little laptop computer they made. How cute. And then, of course, Baby sleeps in the white crib. And Big Sissy sleeps on this day bed. And then over here is where they brush their teeth. There's a little sink and a mirror. Can you see yourself, Daniel? There you are. Now this is really neat too, tiny fans. It lifts up and it turns into a huge bathtub. There's flowers and a towel and it's so big it's almost like a pool for Daniel Tiger. We'll have to fill it up in another video. Have some fun in the water. Oh, and look at this beautiful stained glass window. I love stained glass. All the details are so cute. Well, it's time to go down the elevator again. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our Barbie mansion. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. This is how I start my morning. I come into my office and Kitty is always sitting on my chair. It's time to film Kitty. I sit down beside her and then she knows it's time for her to move. Thank you, Kitty. And she usually jumps onto my set. I've brought her wool pod to crawl into. We're going to do something a little different today. I'm going to show you what the kids have set up to play with. I've collected many different dollhouse furniture from the Fisher Price Loving Family set. And they came in the mail and the kids asked if they could play with them. And I said, sure. So let's have a look. Here they have a green convertible car four seats, no batteries or no sounds. And then this must be their kitchen. Oh, it looks like somebody just went grocery shopping. This guy, he's bought some milk and some apples. Oh, and there's some treats on top of the fridge. Let's see if there's anything in the freezer or the fridge. Oh, it's quite empty. Good thing he went grocery shopping. Move along and the kids have set up two little babies. One in a pink outfit in a pink crib and a little baby that's in blue with a blue crib. And there's a third white crib. I wonder if there's another baby somewhere. Here's the chair and table. Looks like somebody's having some breakfast. A muffin, maybe an apple. Oh, and there is the high chairs for the babies little hanging pink spoon 
and it's story time. So dad is telling the little toddler a story while he sits on his dad's lap. And over here is the baby change table and look at all of the toys. There's a purple teddy bear and some building blocks. And then the next room has, oh, a tea set. It's tea time. It's a fancy silver tea set. Behind here is a drawer. I wonder what's inside. Oh, can I do it with one hand? Oh, there we go. Oh, and there are some little baby spoon, fork, and knife set, and cups, and a little duck. And here's a bookshelf. They love to read, and a silver clock, and kid sized neon band aids. Oh. And then we have another bed, the striped quilt. And this is called a day bed. Oh, look how pretty it is. And the little girl is stretching on the floor. She's almost doing the splits. She must be a gymnast or a dancer. It's important to stretch so you don't injure yourself. So this is the front part of their playset, And then the kids have also set up some little accessories behind. Let's have a peek. There's a cowgirl sitting in a blue bathtub. And beside there's a little baby bathtub with a rubber ducky inside. And then we have a rocking horse, half blue and half pink. And over here we have a camping chair. Someone's having some chocolate chip cookies. And it's sitting right beside the dog house. And inside we have two pet dogs. Come on out. The bigger dog has some little hair poking out at the top of his head. And the smaller dog has a blue bandana around his neck. And I have one more piece I wanted to show you that the kids weren't playing with. This is a little table with <laughs> a phone that Kitty's smelling. And there's the time, 8.30 and a lamp and I'll push the lamp and it actually lights up. And the side table, if we look inside, there's a plant and some books. You know how much I love plants. And the little phone will ring when we push the yellow button. How neat is that? And Kitty's gone back into her little wool pod. Hello, I hope you enjoyed our loving family dollhouse furniture today. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our Hey Dougie toys, Happy, Tag, Nori, and Rolly. Happy says to Dougie, I'm bored. Well, if you're bored, Happy, when I was young, I used to go outside and play, or we'd play games indoors, like hide and go seek. Why don't you try and play that with your friends? I think someone is already hiding. Do you know who it is? It's Betty. Let's go find Betty. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm, she's not on the patio. Is she in here? Maybe she's in the kitchen. No. Hmm, looks like somebody might be hiding under the covers. We found you, Betty. That was so much fun. Now it's Happy's turn to hide. 17, 18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm, do you see Happy in here? How about on the patio? No. In the kitchen? 
uh-oh, there is some granola cereal on the ground. We better pick it up and put it back. There we go. Let's continue searching. Hmm, not under the table. Oh, Betty spot something behind the couch. Oh, oh, there's Happy. We found you. Our family loves to play hide and seek or maybe build forts or play a board game. Happy and Betty now have to find all of their friends who are hiding around the house. Can you spot them all? We even found Kitty! And as you know, Tiny fans, there are some big changes coming to kids' content on YouTube, and we're hoping that Tiny Treasures can stick around. There are so many unknowns, so that's why we're working hard on our channel, My Little Dog Joey. Please check it out and subscribe. We will post videos every day of puppy, kitty, and fun animals. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Woody and Bo Peep love December. It's the month of Christmas and building snow women. They've also decorated a tree beautifully outside. And the house is covered in snow. Let's go inside. It's Christmas Eve, and it's time to go to bed. Good night, Woody. Good night, Bo Peep. We'll see you in the morning. Bo Peep gets in her top bunk of her bed. Woody gets to bed, too. Santa won't come unless you're asleep. Santa has arrived with an elf and gifts on his sleigh. He puts the gifts down the chimney first. Then he hops down the chimney. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, there's no Christmas tree. Santa just puts the gifts on the table instead. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, Woody and Bo Peep! Woody, Woody! It's Christmas morning! Wake up! Ooh! Ouch! Are you okay, Woody? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, look! This one says it's for me! It's the jewelry box I've been wanting. I can store all of my jewelry inside. Very nice. This one says it's for me. Oh, it's the tools I've been wanting. I like to fix things. A wrench and a hammer. Merry Christmas, Bo Peep. Merry Christmas, Woody. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please hit the link below to subscribe. And check out our pet channel, My Little Dog Joey. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're visiting one of our special toys at the Play Family House by Fisher Price. Let's ring the doorbell. It's Daniel Tiger and he has been expecting us. Let's open up the house and see what's going on inside. Daniel, Tiger, and his mom are in the kitchen. It's baking day at home, part of their at-home school routine. What are you making today? We are making homemade peanut butter chocolate cups. We have some gluten-free graham crackers that we're crushing up in a bowl. And then we add some peanut butter to a pot so that we can warm it and melt it. We add the peanut butter to the graham crackers with a little bit of sugar. 
Next we melt organic dark chocolate chips in a pot that sits in some hot water and the chocolate melts until it's nice and smooth. Once the chocolate is fully melted, we pour some into these cupcake liners. That will be the bottom layer of our peanut butter cup. Then we add a big spoonful of the peanut butter, sugar, and graham crackers. And then we pour chocolate on top of that. We chilled it in the fridge for at least three hours. And when they came out, they looked just like a Reese's peanut butter cup. <gasps> Yum, I can't wait to take a bite. This was a very simple recipe and there was no bacon in the oven. Daniel Tiger is now outside with baby Margaret and he wanted to show us these little white petals. They are falling from the trees and it makes it look like there is snow falling from the sky. The spring blossoms are starting to fall off of the trees. Oh, Daniel Tiger is pointing to something over by the house. It's a bird's nest and there's a robin inside. She must be laying eggs. I'm going to use my camera and my tripod to see. Oh, there are four robin eggs. Aren't they a beautiful color? That's called robin's egg blue. After outside time, Daniel Tiger cleans his room. Oh, it looks very tidy, Daniel. Great job. It's time to say goodbye. What an adventure. Thanks for letting us visit today. And tiny fans, if you want to help support our channel and help us continue to grow, please subscribe. It's really important. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are outdoors today with Daniel Tiger and his family. And they are hanging out at our mushroom fairy house. I absolutely love this little fabric house. It's made of soft felt and there's pink embroidered flowers at the top. This is from Heart Song and it even comes with little fairies and shiny wings. What are we going to explore in the outdoors today, little Miss Fairy? Oh, she wants us to open the little yellow door. What's inside? Do you know what these are? They're soft, silver, and furry. They're called pussy willows. Oops, I knocked the toys over. There you go, baby Margaret. We also found a chestnut inside the mushroom house. Chestnuts fall off the tree onto the ground in fall time. And I found these in my jacket pocket as I was going to come outside to film. We won't be finding any of these on the ground since it's springtime, but maybe we can find some pussy willows. We have a giant pussy willow tree in our yard. Let's go find it, Daniel Tiger. I can see all of the pussy willows way up high. Let's see if I can grab a branch and we can see them up close. Oh, they are so soft and they get their name Pussy Willows because another name for a cat can be a pussy cat. And these resemble tiny cat's paws. So that's how they get their name. And these are actually going to turn into flowers. They get their soft furry coating of hair so they can insulate the early blooms from cold temperatures. Are you seeing this little bug that's climbing on the pussy willow? I wonder where he's going. Speaking of bugs and insects, once these pussy willows bloom, the bees come out. And I've cut a few branches, only a few because I like to leave them for the bees. And I put them in a vase and they keep very well. They don't even need water. 
and I have some medium sized pussy willows. And then if you look at the larger ones, you can see the yellow blooms starting to pop out. Look at how big these ones are. They turn bright yellow in color. Thanks for learning with us today and thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are joining Elsa and Anna Petite Dolls and we're going to open up our Playmobil Take Along Modern Dollhouse. It has a gray handle and each side has a different picture. There's the patio and another Playmobil figure. And now it's time to open up and see the rooms inside. This looks like it could be the living room. And up above is definitely the bathroom. Ooh, a fancy bedroom with lanterns. And I'm guessing this is the kitchen. There are many different accessories. Anna wants to set up the living room first. Here's our stereo DVD player television, table, and two red chairs. There's a book for reading, a bottle of water, and two fancy glasses to drink our water out of. Elsa would like to set up the bathroom next. Here's our sink, red basket full of little toiletries like toothpaste, toothbrush and we need a toilet and there's a little green brush to clean the toilet with a big gray bathtub and a soft green towel next we set up the bedroom here's a bed for Anna a little cradle for the baby It's nap time, little baby. And another bed for Elsa. Side tables to store books or maybe put a glass of water on. And a yellow quilt for each bed. Wow! I think baby might be hungry too. Here's a little bottle of milk, baby. Let's set up the kitchen next. There's a dining room table, and when baby's awake, he can sit in the pink high chair with the blue bird. And look, the refrigerator matches the table. There's also a little cupboard for food or plates kitchen sink, oven, and stove. What's in the fridge? Some healthy food, eggs, a fresh organic chicken, cheese, and lettuce from the garden. It's time to set the table. and a beautiful bouquet of flowers from the garden. We're frying up some eggs for breakfast. And there's a bed for the little puppy dogs. There's cocoa. And cream puff. Woof, woof. Now the dollhouse is complete and ready to play with. But first we have a surprise for Anna and Elsa. It's a mini Beanie Boo box. And we're gonna go inside and open it. It has a pink question mark. And these are all of the Beanie Boos that you can collect. Let's see which one we got this time. Remember in a video not too long ago, we opened two outside? Oh, 
Look, tiny fans, I cannot believe it. We got the little unicorn, and her name is Fantasia. And the reason I'm so surprised is because I just put up this brand new unicorn sticker in our background. What a coincidence. And Anna and Elsa have a new pet. Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini love playing with the new Playmobil house. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies are sitting around Mr. Magic Tree. All of a sudden, Poe disappeared and turned into a big crystal blue ball. Mr. Magic Tree said the only way they can get their friend Poe back is to go through the fairy door and find the magic fairy book in the fairy house. There's the door with a sign that says, Believe in fairies? They hope you do. Make a wish. It might come true. The Teletubbies enter the door. And it takes them to a magical fairyland. Look, there's a rainbow unicorn in the field. The Teletubbies search for a fairy home. Maybe over here. They find a table with fruit inside a basket. But they don't take the fruit because they don't know who it belongs to or where it's come from. Lala walks right up to the fairy house. Now we need to search for the magic fairy book. Can you help us, tiny fans? Hmm, there's a milk bottle and a little sink, chair, a beautiful painting of a fairy, and what's up the ladder? It's a little bedroom. The Teletubbies look upstairs and downstairs, but they can't find the magic fairy book. Under the table? How about over here? Oh, there are two books. Lala spots a book under the counter. This is it, the magic blue fairy book. The Teletubbies must get back to Mr. Magic Tree. Mr. Magic Tree uses the magic book to turn Poe back into herself again. Teletubbies are so happy to have their friend back. But Poe wakes up and realizes that was all a dream and there's no such thing as magic fairy books. Okay, tiny fans, it's quiz time. What three different fruits were in the bowl in the fairyland? If you don't know, have a look back. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to explore our Fisher Price beach house we found at the secondhand store. Who's home today? Oh, hello, Dipsy. This is the summer home of the Teletubbies. Can we have a tour? Poe's showing us the beautiful pond and waterfall at the side of the house. And if we head upstairs, there's a patio, someone's towel and a hat. I wonder if any of the Teletubbies are upstairs. We can open the top of the house and see. Tinky Winky and Dipsy are playing hide-and-go-seek upstairs, although it doesn't look like there are many places to hide. On the top floor, Lala is outside where there's a little mini hot tub. Shall we put some water in the hot tub, Lala? Watch closely. The magic genie will make the water appear.
This hot tub is the perfect size for the genies. But I think it's too small for Lala. So Lala decides to go to the pool out back. Poe's already cooling off. There's a chair for Tinky Winky and Dipsy. And Lala floats away with Poe. Whee! Okay, tiny fans. Did you spot this green frog earlier in the video? He was hiding behind the palm tree. And he loves to swim in the water with the Teletubbies. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Daniel Tiger's mom has just dropped him off at his friend Katarina Kitty's house. Okay, bye Daniel. I will come and pick you up in two hours and make sure you listen to Katarina's mother and do everything she asks. Use your pleases and your thank yous. I love you. Love you, Mom. Bye. We'll see you later. Bye. What would you like to do first, Daniel? Oh, how about we stay outside and play for a bit, get some fresh air. We can play on the swing set and the slide. There's two swings. One for Katarina Kitty, and one for Daniel Tiger. The swings are bright yellow, the same color as the slide. Katarina Kitty climbs up the ladder. How about you go first, Katarina? Oh, thank you, Daniel. Daniel makes sure that Katarina Kitty has moved out of the way at the bottom of the slide before he goes, so he doesn't accidentally run into her. All oh, this plane has made me feel a little bit hungry. Would you like to go inside and we'll make a snack together? Oh, sure, that sounds great. In they go to the kitchen. Katarina makes a lot of homemade snacks. Today, they're going to get Katarina's mom's help to make hummus. It's made of chickpeas. Here comes Katarina's mother. It's important to get help from an adult when you're making something in the kitchen. We usually need to use sharp tools like knives or heat from a stove or an oven. We always need parents' help for those types of things. Here are the chickpeas I've just cooked. I had to boil them in water for over an hour. You want to get them nice and soft so that when they're in your fingers, you can squish them just like this. Instead of cooking them, you can just use organic garbanzo beans. They're chickpeas as well. Garbanzo is just another name for them. Make sure the can has a non-BPA lining. BPA is a chemical that's not good for our bodies. To make the hummus, I'm using a blender today. It has a sharp blade in the bottom, so be careful. We add our chickpeas, and then we add a little bit of organic lemon juice. You can also squeeze fresh juice out of a lemon. But unfortunately, I don't have any lemons in my fridge today, so this will do. Then we need to add something called sesame tahini. It's sesame seeds mushed all together to make a butter. I add a little bit of organic olive oil and a teeny bit of salt. Crushed garlic. I need to use my garlic press. I put the clove in here, and then I push down really hard. The fresh garlic starts to squeeze through the teeny holes. Garlic is very good for us. It keeps colds and flus away. And 
uh, finally a little bit of cold water. And we're ready to mix our hummus. I'm going to push the puree button and it will chop up all of those chickpeas. Chickpeas are very healthy for us. They're full of protein, vitamin B, magnesium, and iron. And if you don't eat any meat, or a lot of meat, chickpeas are a great alternative for protein. And hummus is one of my kids' favorite snacks. They love to dip their corn chips in the hummus dip. Mmm, turned out perfect. Let's give it a try, Daniel. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today I'm going to open my Calico Critters Baby Discovery Forest. It includes over 10 pieces but doesn't come with any Calico Critters. Let's open it up. So here we have a nice little green leaf seesaw and some stairs of mushrooms, all different colors, and another kind of sitting seesaw place, and a swing that you can put the calico critter in. The treehouse has a secret doorway with a leaf flap on it, and a nice little window above with flowers around. This little stump inside the treehouse flips open so the calico critters can have a nice berry pie. The Teletubbies have come for a visit with the little baby koala. Tinky Winky swings the little baby koala in this green basket. Lala teaches the little baby koala to walk up and down the mushroom stairs. And Dipsy enjoys a nice, fresh, baked berry pie with the little baby koala. Yum, yum. Poe watches the little baby koala go down the slide. Here we go. Oopsies, she had a little tumble. No, baby koala, you can't do that. You can fall out the window. You can fall out the window and get very hurt. It's a long way down. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.